Hello, I'm Rohan Sawan, and in this video, we are going to understand indexing and we are going to go over some batch recommendations for Elasticsearch batches. Some of us who are new to Elasticsearch or Smart Search in general always have this question When does data get indexed? Do I always have to run initial indexing jobs? Well, we have a small diagram here which gives you an idea when Elasticsearch indexing should be run as opposed to when MDM will take care of it. Let's assume that you have just started using Elasticsearch. If you are coming up with a new configuration or if you have updated uh, your configuration, you will have to run indexing job. If you have some data that is available in your base objects prior to setting up Elasticsearch, you will have to run an indexing job. If your indexes were deleted or uh, in the testing phase, uh, you had to take some steps that uh, triggered index deletion. That is when you have to run indexing jobs. However, once you are done configuring and running the initial indexing jobs, your incremental data loads will internally call the indexing code which means that you do not have to explicitly run the indexing jobs again. Data that is sent through load jobs will be internally indexed by MDM. If you're uploading data through API calls or E360 inserts, MDM will fire calls to Elasticsearch to internally index this data as well. If there are any updates or merges on data, the indexing and deletion of the documents in the background will also be taken care of by MDM. Now, while you're running indexing jobs or load jobs, there are some properties that you need to carefully understand and evaluate. On a day-to-day -day basis, when data comes in through load jobs, these are your incremental loads. Uh, as I mentioned, uh, load jobs will internally run indexing. So any indexing that is done as a part of the load job will inherit uh, the thread count and the block count from its parent load job. Now you have to understand that a particular record that you're trying to insert into MDM through load job it may be a part of many business entities. In that case, a single record will have to have multiple indexes created under those business entities in Elasticsearch. A table like address may be a part of four to five business entities. In that case, if you're sending 250 records in a block, there is a high chance that it will be indexed five to six times that value. The same logic applies to merge jobs. When you're merging data, typically the data that survives should be re-indexed internally so that it reflects the true values that are retained after the merge process. This also means that the data that has not survived, the indexes related to it should be deleted. MDM internally takes care of both of these activities and it also follows the same logic wherein your block size is defined by the auto merge block size and the thread count is defined by auto merge threads per job. As opposed to this, when you are running initial indexing jobs, your block size depends on cmx.server batch initial block size. This property is not available by default. This is not set by default in your CMX server or cleanse properties. You will have to add it. As opposed to typical load or automotive jobs, you can set this property uh, to a slightly higher value, 250 or 500 records per block. But again, the number that you set here should be set taking in consideration the number of entities that a particular record is a part of. 
Next property that we have is threads per job. This is the threads per job property that will be used to define how many threads will concurrently run indexing for you. We have a few batch recommendations while running either indexing, load or merges. When you are running indexing for the first time, run it on lookup tables first. Avoid running indexing jobs in parallel. Avoid running two load jobs in parallel if they have multiple search fields. So for load blocks, merge blocks or smart search indexing blocks, high block sizes are suitable when base object is not a part of too many business entities. Maybe if it has one or two business entities where it is either a parent, child, grandchild or set as searchable at any level. If it's restricted to one or two, you can go for a higher block size. If, these, if the base object does not have a lot of foreign keys, if it's a table that is restricted in terms of the number of relationships that it has. It also depends on your network latency. If you're working in an environment where you have high network latency, you should possibly opt for a higher block size. This is so that your turnaround time for each block indexing is cut down. The time on the network is cut down and uh, Elasticsearch is able to index the data in bulk at, at once. As opposed to this, smaller block sizes are suitable when base object is a part of multiple business entities as root, child, grandchild. Uh, take an example of uh, an address entity or a telephone number entity. If you feel that in your setup, these, these kind of tables are part of multiple business entities. When I say multiple, it's more than three or four, then you should opt for smaller block sizes. If, if a particular business entity or a table, if it's a part of uh, uh, different business entities at various levels, this in turn will mean uh, it, it has high number of foreign keys. When it has high number of foreign keys, again, we discourage you from having large block size. So stick to smaller block sizes in this cases. And if your network latency isn't high at all, then you should probably opt for this option as it's more reliable. These have been the batch recommendations on when to run an indexing job as opposed to when to run an implicit indexing using load or merge job. We have also gone over the batch recommendations when to have large block sizes and when to have smaller block sizes. And in conclusion, it depends on how you are setting up your business entities what is the degree of uh, spread across the data that you have? What is the duplication that you're going to have? All these factors will come into play when you are setting up these batch sizes and block sizes. Thank you.